We might be trying to figure out how you can create a shortcut on your iPhone. Now, doing this is actually fairly basic. All we need is the shortcuts application available for our device. So you can see right here, there's the shortcuts application, and that's pretty much all we're going to have to use. Now, there are tons of different shortcuts you can make. In this case, I have already created a few, but you can really, the, the sky is the limit. You can do anything you want to really with your iPhone via the shortcuts application. Well, not anything, but a lot of stuff. So to give you a quick breakdown, this is what the shortcuts application looks like. You have the full list of your shortcuts that you currently have on your iPhone on the bottom left. You have the automation panel right in the center. Then all the way to the right, you have a gallery application where you can just go ahead and see other shortcuts that people have created. Now, if you want to create your own shortcut, what I'd recommend doing is you can either click on the automation tab in the middle and you can either set up a home hub or you can create a personal automation. What I typically do is I just click on the shortcuts app right here and I go and click on the plus button that's on the top right. So click on the plus button right there and this is where you can go and create your own shortcut. So what I would typically do is I would go ahead and right here where it says, you know, next action suggestions and so many other things, you can go and start creating your actions. So what this means basically is, is that you can just go and, you know, basically click on add action like right here. And from here, what you can do is you can create all sorts of different actions. So if you want to do a certain thing and as you want another thing to happen, well, you can start creating that. So for example, if I go and click on all actions, it's going to take me to this familiar panel. So if, for example, if I open up an app and I want, or like if, it, if there's like a date that happens, I can just go and click on date and it's going to say current date, whatever. I can go and click on whatever date I want to. So if I want to make a thing for like, so if I wanted to create a certain thing for a date, I can go and set that up there too. But the big one that I use is opening up an app. So if, for example, if I open, so for example, for this one, I have open app. I can choose the app that I want. So let's say if I go ahead and choose a certain application, right? If I go and open up the app store, I can go ahead and add this if option right here. And it says, if the app store is open, I can go ahead and do this condition, which would basically be, you know, if that application is open, then something could happen. So I can go and create this condition. And uh, from here, I can just go and, you know, pass any value, whatever. I can go and create a condition right here if I really wanted to. Now, otherwise, some, nothing will happen. And, and if it, you know, something else will happen. So you could realistically do whatever you want to within this application, but that is basically a quick breakdown on how to use it. It's not anything super complicated, but it can get really complex super fast if you're not knowing what you're doing, basically. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.